Jenny Softball earned the right to host half of the NCAA Division II Central Region Tournament at South Rec in Warrensburg, and UCM opened up the tournament with a familiar opponent. Two-seeded Jennies played their first game against seven-seed Missouri Western. The Griffins score in the first and fourth innings, leading UCM 2-0. Mo West pitcher Jamie Smith got five strikeouts, but those were all in the first two innings. We'll skip ahead, pick up the highlights in the fifth, and we're starting with defense as UCM shortstop Allie Jo Rogers makes a diving catch that is sports center worthy. Jins wait until the bottom of the fifth to get on the scoreboard, and the patience pays off. Michaela Schoonover gets on base with a single, then steals second. With two outs, Lindsey Dawson hits a 2-2 pitch. It drops right over second base. Schoonover never hesitates, and she has a cross home plate for the Jens first run. UCM trailing 2-1. Jen strand two at the end of the fifth and still trail in the bottom of the sixth, but Carly Rose gets things started with a double. Madison Hood follows that with a hit, and then Austin Eichelberry comes in to pinch run for her and steals second. So runners on second and third for Katie Giacconi, but it doesn't matter where they were standing because Giacconi blasts a home run over the fence in center field. Three run shot. UCM takes the lead 4-2. That homer was definitely a spark. Next two batters get on base, and it's two more RBIs for Lindsey Dawson as the left fielder drops a ball right out of her glove. Schoonover and Allie Jo Rogers add runs to the board. It's 6-2 Jennings. Jackie Prater is walked, and Dawson is caught trying to steal third, so now there are two outs in the sixth. Lauren May brings Prater home with a hit that goes right up the middle. That makes it six runs in the sixth inning for the Jennies. Three up, three down in the top of the seventh, and Central Missouri advances in the winner's bracket, beating Missouri Western 7-2. Once Carly got on, then Maddie had the single up the middle, and that kind of got things started, but KG coming through, crushing a home run. I mean, that was totally the spark that ignited for us to get ahead. And then after that, we just put single out back to back with Mac and Allie Joe with the bunt single and then stealing bases. I feel like we did a great job of being aggressive on bases. And so we just had a big inning and that's what we needed. We needed that. I thought it was at least a sack fly that would score the tying run. So I was ecstatic to see it went over. Shockley did a great job of scattering their hits. Um, and I think that's a, a big key because they do have quite a bit of power. Um, obviously with Shiflet hitting that home run and I mean they have quite a few players that can hit the long ball so I feel like with her keeping the ball in the park and then scattering those hits that's all we can ask for for Shockley and then our defense did a fantastic job behind her like always. Three seed Henderson State beat six seed Arkansas Tech in the other game so the Jenny's next game is against the Reddies on Saturday May 9th with first pitch scheduled for noon. For UCMAthletics.com I'm Katie Smith.